welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Me? Mm -hmm. oh. Who are you? Got his mouth full. He's RJ. Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. You're not going to see us through the weekend. So this is kind of our podcast. I can't see you. Well, you'll oh, see my me. Arms. My eyes. Oh. <laughs> He'll see me, but you all won't see us. Um, because we've got, um, what do you call it? Fiber Festival. He's playing with the kid, the dog. Probably. Up a little higher. Up a little higher. See? No, no, no. He's getting in the shot. There he no, is. <laughs> he just wants his animal cookies. All right. So, uh, you ready? Yeah. Now I have to get it all. Okay. It probably looks better the other way. Now you're making me fuss with it. All right. Ready? So, anyway, Mama Cat over at Mama Cat's home. Uh, hey, 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 do not help was yourself. Do <laughs> was doing a, I need something to suck on, I'm sorry. Uh, was doing a collaboration. I don't know where it started from, but I know. Quit, He's come on. on. He's sitting on me and on the floor. Okay, dude, you ready? So, she did this collaboration. I don't know who started it or whatever. You see, but, that just answered question number nine. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing yet. And you're shaking the camera. So quit. Hey, go lay down. Okay, so because it's going to be a long stretch, we wanted to leave you with something that you could laugh at, make fun of, mm -hmm. do whatever. Don't shake the table. Um, and just know a little bit more about us and why we do what we do. And we found some online, like, one guy asked us if we want to do one, uh, why we homestead. Well, we don't homestead. We don't homestead. Um, I heard made a how-to video, or a why we homestead video, when we don't homestead. That's the thing, is we don't consider ourselves a homestead. Yes, a lot of the things we do convey to the homesteading life. We live this life before the term homesteader ever became about. So, we can and put up vegetables and that because this was the Wild West. And Lee's family's been here all the way back to Jean-Pierre Choteau, which his mother's maiden name is, Cho is Webster, which is um, his, her mom's maiden name is Choteau. So, I mean, they can chase their gene all the way back to when the West was wild. That's how they lived. So, we're not getting back to our roots. We're not getting back to, um, I'm the northerner thrown in the bunch, so I learn a lot because I wasn't raised this way. But I had my grandparents' influence. So I was raised weird. That's all I'm saying. So a lot of those, oh. anyway, a lot of those don't fit us. But this one, Mama Cat put out there, she's like, okay, I don't tag people, so just go do it. We're going to do it. But we've kind of changed it up just a little bit because it's actually a homemaker's one. But it fit us, didn't it? So let's get on with it. All right, it's just kind of a get to know us a little bit better kind of thing so but it's mama cat's fault that's what i'm gonna title this all right so go with question number one what is it have you ever had anyone say, say anything okay i'll be reading the questions have you ever had anyone say anything negative about staying and it's supposed to say staying home but we're going to say staying on the farm working from home poor rj he gets called a mooch don't you? You get called uh, a slacker. Um. Mm -hmm. I call all kinds of things. <laughs> but here's the truth. Do you stay here for free and mooch off of us? We have an arrangement. RJ holds a job title here on the farm. He works for room and board. His day work is his rope and money. I no longer give him rope and money, although I will float him alone from time to time. I don't give him his spending money or any of that. He has to earn it on his own. He day labors. Our arrangement is he does morning chores, night chores, um, at least four days a week. And then he does um, some horse training for me. So, um, and we actually have it figured out at dollar amounts. But that, does, that isn't what people see. Um, when we went in and redid his room to look more like a hangout, that's when that all came about. Um, he's got a little bar in there. He's got his own fridge. He's got his own thing. Um, he doesn't have a bathroom in his room, obviously, but you know he's got access to the house, the kitchen. So pretty much, he works for room and board, 
plus I paid his cell phone. Do you have any other bills? No. Do you have any other bills? <laughs> I guess if you want to say this thing's mine, I have a feed bill. Yeah, the feed bill. You know, he works that off. It, it all pencils out, but he has been called so many things. It's terrible. As for me, the only, the only, the worst thing that ever happens to me is everybody assumes I have time to do everything else because I'm always at home, right? Mm -hmm. If there is babysitting that needs to be done, I get called by people that are not my children, <laughs> by friends of my children that went to school because Christy's always home, <laughs> or the people that think I have time to keep my house immaculate and take care of everything because, uh... Rascal. Cat's being stupid. And I don't know that I can get it turned. There's a plate over there that I can feed the cats on. And I do once a day because there's like nine of them. And he'll only eat one piece of food at a time. But he won't eat it off the plate. So he takes it off the plate. Oh, it went under the... <laughs> He takes it off the plate and then eats it off the bar. See, he won't eat it off the plate. So he's got to go back and get another one. Okay. okay. So, yeah. That just answered no. That was that answered another question. Anyway. Uh, any, oh, you got another one. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go in order. So anyway, a lot of people assume I have time to do all the things. Um, volunteer. Um, all that kind so of stuff. So we know where we're at. Uh, I've been asked to do a lot of things. Well, you don't do anything. Can you come help us do this? Or can you me. help us do that? Yes, please. All right. What is your favorite or least favorite part about staying at home, but we changed it to on the farm, or working from the farm, from home, you know, mm -hmm. on the farm? My favorite part is that when you stop it, my favorite part is that I get to stay home. This is my favorite place to be, and I just love being here. There's always something to do. I'm always just do, 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 So, yeah. My favorite part is staying home, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, my least favorite part? Is leaving home. <laughs> it really is. It's leaving home. <laughs> What's your favorite part? The food. <laughs> the food. You're shaking the camera. Oh. The food. What's your least favorite part? The fact that I actually have to do something. <laughs> okay, so what is your... That takes number three. What is your favorite or least favorite chore? What's your favorite chore? Okay, people, I just have um, to say this. First off, there's no such thing as a favorite chore to me. If it's a chore... It's not a favorite. It's not a favorite. It's work, right? Um, the there's five other pins laying right there. Oh, those were behind my cup. My favorite chore is cleaning out the refrigerator. <laughs> there you go. I do it three times a day. <laughs> my least favorite chore, when you find something in the refrigerator that's green. And I don't mean eco-friendly green. <laughs> Alright, so my least favorite chore would be actually physically having to sort cattle. Um, they just, well, unless, let me rephrase that, sort cattle and horses, because cattle together, I can sort, boom, 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 cattle with horses in them, the horses stir them up, and just, uh, and I had to do it this morning, so it set the tone for my whole day, but sorting cattle and horses that have gotten in the same pen is my least favorite. Um, what time do you wake up slash go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Every day it changes. I set a goal to go to bed by midnight and get up by five. That's just my personal little. Um, she hadn't made that goal yet. I used to all the time when we did your homeschooling, correct? Oh, yeah. That was our schedule. With him not homeschooling, we don't get up until the chores need to be done. We don't get up until you have to be at your job. We don't get up until, you know. And part of that is, is I'm staying up a little bit later because... I don't have to get up at five so I can just get this project done or I can just get this done or there's something else to do. Yeah, we, we carry a non um, set see. schedule? Yes, a non set schedule. Like we get up, we go to chores, we have a set schedule for the day, but it doesn't start at 
All right, your job starts at 7 30. Gotta be there, be ready to roll. It is. Well, I woke up at noon today, so. We'll no, we up. always make sure we get up and do the chores about 9 o'clock. But then, well, I stayed up till 3 this morning, so. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. Um, do you put anything on in the background while you clean, work, cook, radio, TV, podcast, etc.? Okay, this is where him and I are very different. And we <laughs> run into problems all the time. Every day, all day. Son, do you turn on something in the background when we're working around the house? Yeah, sometimes two or three things. And I'll bounce Son, from how thing much to thing. do I like to have on? Nothing. I like the silence. Silence is Unless golden. you're spinning, and then you turn so, on the TV. Yes. If I'm spinning, I will fall asleep if something else isn't on. So I'll put on, um, I like like unsolved mysteries or forensic type things, um, that kind of stuff. Actual shows quick, that have um, tangible. I'm so dizzy. I'm not talking drama. I'm so but, dizzy. Yeah, quit. Um, so yeah, she don't like the soaps. I don't. I, I don't like a whole lot of TV. I don't like the radio. Yeah, I love the soaps. What's going on, folks? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't watch the soaps. All right. I always wanted to, just so that But way. It's, it's one of our major conflicts because I'll be like, just turn it off, and he'll have his radio on. He'll be sitting watching YouTube videos while watching TV. <laughs> no, no. Really commercials. Okay. Do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? Now, this is another one where we're very different. What do you do? Get up and get dressed every day. Every day. He's may not shower, shoes. may not shave for a week. But I get up, I get dressed. No, he showers every night. Um, now, here's where I'm very different in the fact that it's kind of funny. She's wearing footy pajamas, folks. <laughs> I am not. I have on sweats and a shirt. But I have three to four pairs of sweats that all look identical. So, basically, I'm in the same clothes. 24 hours. <laughs> and then she changes. Every 24 hours, she changes clothes. I do. I do. And some people won't even know because I'm so wear them all day. Sweat. Go to bed in them. Get up. Halfway through the day, so she'll change in town. But I sh shower in between. So my shower is 24 hours a day, and then I change my clothes every 24 hours. But I'm always in. I hate shopping. So when I walk in, whatever color I find or I settle on, I don't do multiple colors. So it's like, okay, here's my size. Here's my thing. I have a green shirt. I have a red shirt. I have a blue shirt. I have a striped blue shirt. I have. No, I have all like t-shirts. <laughs> okay. This is going into question seven. Okay. How often do you do your hair and makeup? Every day. I run comb through it. <laughs> Gotta be perfect. Oh, there's a hair out of place. Yeah. Gotta do my makeup. You know, you have to see. Even, I did it and today. And here, here's the thing. You don't even shave, boy. <laughs> um, I don't even. Hence the reason there's these speckly dots all. I did not even. Um, wear makeup when she worked in town. When I worked in town, I was a loan officer that never wore makeup, and I washed my hair, I combed my hair, I blow dried my bangs because I have a cowlick, and that to this day is the only thing I do when I get out of the shower. My hair will be wringing wet. I blow dried my bangs into play, and that's it. How it stays is how it stays. You know, I do comb it, and that's it. All right. Question so we've eight. never done anything high maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. How often do you? No. <laughs> okay. Eight, right here. Put oh. Mark. Well, you already put a mark on it, so it must be done. Why what? Skip it then. Go what is your trouble zone or area in your? It's supposed to be home, but we're gonna say the farm that needs the most help. Right here, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm um, so messed up. My therapist now needs a therapist. <laughs> he doesn't have a therapist. Nobody what if I had a therapist? <laughs> um, the part that needs the most help. Time. Mom's knife sharpening skills. They suck. Yes. That's it. They're awful. Yeah. We had technical difficulty, <laughs> folks. Wait. What is your trouble zone or area of the farm that needs the most help? I said RJ. Apparently it's our technical stuff. Technical difficulty. <laughs> And mom's knife sharpening skills. And, uh, yeah, and my knife sharpening skills. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Number nine just goes right in with this. How often do you find yourself getting distracted? Squirrel. 
but the cat is still the after cat him. is still after the thing well now he's after his tail too the dog has already been in the video it is what it is um we're not just another day at the office folks it really is and, and we get so distracted because him and i will walk around hitting each other and pointing at things all the time just because the animals are funny they they do things i know and no no i really was pointing at the other cat okay i know um but we're not so structured that we're on task Oops. That cat, he's still, and the other one's over on the sink scoping out. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't even know. That cat is 13 pounds. No, put it down like it does. All right, so they're, they're infatuated with the whole distraction thing. Yes, we get distracted a lot, um, but we get the task done, so I'm not, and I have this look, according to RJ, that is this, okay, get back to it kind of look. So, all right, do you enjoy staying at home, or do you miss going to a job? Off the farm. Sure, I love staying here. So, RJ, do you love staying here like going to your job off the farm? Depends on which one I'm going to. <laughs> Eat day works. So, depends on what job it is. What is your never ending chore? Cleaning out This is number 11. That's his. Um, mine is, is cleaning, period. Um, because there's so much to do, we have cleaning stalls, cleaning chicken coop, cleaning garden, cleaning the house, cleaning, you know, laundry. Um, that okay. kind of stuff. So everything I'll is never ending. Well, right off the bat. All right. what, is it, what is your? What is your favorite way to relax or have me time? Sleep. Uh -uh. Favorite way. <laughs> That's my favorite. It didn't ask what I did. Okay, so what do you actually do for me time? I go for it. My favorite is sleep. He's, if he is stressed or needs time alone, needs time to think, he always ends up in the arena. Me, I end up in the barn. I just like to go out there and... For number one, there's no radio, there's no TV, there's no YouTube, there's no... Um, Unless so, I'm in there, then there's something blaring. But I kick him out. So, it just, you know, that's... I just go spend time in the barn. Doing what is just whatever needs to be done. Ooh. Just out of the house. Oh, um, that how often do you... Does your husband or significant other chip in? He doesn't. Lee is my significant other. And he has a day job, and that's the way he likes it, and he does not do the farm stuff. Um, he will help with chores just because he owns a roping horse, and sometimes he'll go out and help RJ run cattle. That's it. That's not his lifestyle. He doesn't want it. He wants a 9 to 5, come home, watch TV, eat dinner, go to bed, get up, and re repeat. Rope. He, he, like he ropes every once in a while, but that's it. Um, roping is a hobby for him, so he doesn't. He's just done you know and that's his routine so my significant other does not he doesn't enjoy it mm -hmm. and if you've ever watched our intro he flat out says i'm the grumpy old man and i'll keep my day job and that's the way he is that's really his attitude towards it rj what about your significant other first you'd have to have one <laughs> the dog then the dog <laughs> yeah he chips in all the time come here dog <laughs> no don't no. okay if you have kids self-explanatory when do you find time I to do the chores? I am not yours. <laughs> what do you do? Find me in a Walmart In the cabbage party? patch. When do you find time to do chores? I don't. That's why I had ch children. No. She found me in a shopping cart in Walmart. <laughs> I know it. She grabbed me and ran off. <laughs> but um, we just always are doing stuff. It's not a matter of finding time. We just keep going. I, I have lists, and they just keep going. And I add on to the end, and when it comes to she the end of the page. She has 30 lists. It she, just keeps going. She and has as you cross list. them off, they're gone. You finish one list, she's already got another one. Yep. So, right. how do you balance being a, and it did say homemaker, but we say farmer, and creating YouTube content? We video well, our days. We do. We whip out our phone. We don't have fancy cameras. We don't have what you're seeing from ours. When people criticize our video, we just laugh because it's bad video because we're doing it as we're doing it. When things start to happen, one of life, us, but. one of us just says, "Hey, anybody got a camera?" And we whip out our phones, and that's where. And then her, we, because it's mainly me trying to do something. It's like these are my cool videos. <laughs> I'm trying not to die over here, mom. But hey, you can make a cool video. You can show it at my funeral when I go. How did he die? Oh, I have that I on have a video. video. 
<laughs> yeah, but we really do. We just whip out our phones. We don't want we we don't spend time editing. This is life as it happens. This is life as it is. Um, it, it just is. And if there's something that I can't do, I always tell you I have to turn off the camera to do this because I need two hands or I need you know. All right, just, next just the way it is. Okay. All right. What is your favorite room in your home and why? The barn. Kitchen <laughs> has food, has heat, and it has air conditioning. Yes, we don't have central heat and air, so and the it kitchen, has food. If I did not interrupt that. Yeah. Um, uh, the, excuse me. <sighs> My worst Kids hated room, days, whatever you know. room he's in when he's like this. Um, the kitchen. It's okay, mommy. It'll be okay. The kitchen has a window unit for air conditioning, and it also has. Bingo. A, yes, and it has a wood burning stove for heat. So this is our central um, go to. And I know you see it. In the winter, we videotape in here. In the summer, we videotape up there. It's because this is. Just the way it goes um, and he likes it because it's food me I like the barn that's my favorite room um, I like being out there doing it's like things 20 degrees out there right now I got my I still got my coveralls on <laughs> so okay <yeah>. Urkel. <laughs> oh no these are not Urkel. these are coveralls these are big people's coveralls so a little bit you put hay on the table wow all right so what is your least favorite room in the home and why mm -hmm. um the bathroom, if I have to clean it. <laughs> or is your least favorite room? Fiber room. I always have to work in there. Oh. And there's no heat and there's no air conditioning. Yep. So, the only time it's nice in there is when... It's nice you know, outside. Well, and, <laughs> and you sometimes when it's nice outside, the, wind, the sun will come through the window too much and it'll make the room hot. So, you kind of got to find like when it's 45 outside and the sun's going through there. Or when it's like 90 outside and it's shaded. So it's the, your least favorite room if it's not timed perfectly. Well, I still don't like to be in there because most of them have to work. <laughs> okay. Do you feel your home or farm reflects your personality, your personal style? Why or why not? Oh, yes. This is... <laughs> mm -hmm. Our home... We don't have a style. We just okay. kind of flow. Our home is what works for us. And I always feel like those people that have that home that they go oh my god why all yes, right the cat's still on the bar guys right yes there. he gave up on it. the food um i feed my cats on there in the winter yes they have a silver platter and yes it you know does that reflect my <laughs> style no it's a dish that's big enough to feed nine cats around it um that crate is fiber we've got a tumbler with a bicycle adapted in the kitchen um and it's not this is not out of the ordinary. It's clean. It's picked up. Everything we know we where everything is. Cage. We've got a dog in the pig's cage. Um, our whole life is really like that because we may not get things perfectly like a museum. Like, you know, I mean, I've got this here. Okay, one of the pieces of glass guy. is busted. Um, that being said, we've speaking got of the busted glass, dog. the china cabinets are yeah. all the, we <laughs> have two glass alone. doors in the china cabinet that's busted. We've got this one that's but Does it stop us? No. It, it is what it is. We live with what we have. I'm not going to replace an entire china cabinet just because the glass. And I've looked at having the glass replaced before anybody gets on to me. It's got this whoopy thing. And because I would have to uncock and move them, remove the other two sheets that are etched with flowers to get that done. So... Yeah, it's just not economical to do. I'll answer 19. Okay, so what is 19? What does your home smell like? Animals. That's not true. It does Yesterday too. it smelled like stew. It's like whatever I'm cooking, whatever animal is. The only like constant smell is animals. But it's not the bad animal smell, you know? It, I, I it's, mean, it's a not, homey animal smell. I was going to say, it's not like it smells like urine or wet dog or anything, well, is it? Well, unless you give the dog a bath. Then unless it I give like wet dog. <laughs> then when you bathe the pig, it smells like wet pig. We don't use diffusers. We don't use smelly stuff. Why do we not use that stuff, son? Let's be honest with them. I don't know. I don't know. He gets a migraine from it. Um, oh, it makes his asthma act up. He is chemically sensitive, so we can't use smell goods. Um, I do burn candles when we're having company over. And it, you'll walk in, they'll hit you one spot, he just moves to another spot. There's not, 
I like as long as you have one by the door, everybody just walks in and that first initial breath is like pumpkin. I feel like they don't ever notice. I know. So it's not like it's overbearing. But a lot of times it smells like the food that I'm cooking because I do a lot of slow cooker, crock pot cooking. And so people will come in and it's... And that's my kids. At Christmas time, all you smell is food. Um, so that's a main part of our house. All right, number 20. What is your strong point and weak spot when it comes to, and it says the home, but we're going to say the farm. What's our strong suit when it comes to the farm? The animals. We have some awesome animal skills, do we not? We got some okay ones. Mm. We All right, I'll toot the horn. Yeah, we got some good. We kind of got some good ones. We, we've we've saved some things that people, even vets, have looked at us and said, "We don't know how you did that." Mm-hmm. So, honestly, I think that's video's got to be over. I'm out of drink. Yep. Um. So I'd say our strong point is the fact that we the animal care that goes on here is awesome and amazing. Mm-hmm. What's our weak spot? Well, I just showed you the video of the. <laughs> looks horrible um it doesn't look horrible the front room is always clean and inviting the couch is there the thing the things are set up there and it's never dirty um but (laughs) playing catch with the dog with animal crackers um but it really is not anything bad yeah it's it's just weakest weakest it's not ever you know what that is mom what? We have a one spot that's so weak. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our weakest spot is not anything. It's just so little. I just, you step, There's a all, lot you of... step on it, you never even know it's there because well, everything else is so good. My thing is we do a lot of things, but we don't do everything well. So while we can survive and we can do all these things, it doesn't mean that we do them all well. That's just um, canning. We do that. We do gardening, we do, we can do it and we get by, but that doesn't mean we do everything well, so. I know what our weakest spot is. I what? figured that out. Your armpits? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even stink. I just said that. Yes, there you go. That would be our, our, our weakest, weakest spot, spot is our sometimes financials. our financials. We're not, you know, overly rich. We're not, we get by. <laughs> the cat just fell again. Sorry, the cat is being like. All right, maybe I'll. The cat is like. This is what he does like all day long. He caught his tail and he's now licking it. He's. He was like walking along and his tail swung to the side, so he like gives all Batman and he goes, "Why are I like trying to get it?" And this morning, our day was trying to make himself a bowl of cereal. Cat runs and jumps in the middle of my <laughs> bowl. I mean, like <laughs> Superman. Okay, back to whatever question. Do you get distracted? We're back on number nine, and we shouldn't be. Um, But anyway, our financials. um, We sometimes take on too many animals, getting them back under control. Spend too much money on barns, on things. Or want to push too fast to get it done and spend the money before we have it come in. You know, Mm -hmm. oh, but we're counting on this check to come in, so. (laughs) And that check doesn't come, we're going... Ramen noodles for dinner for a week. Yep. So probably financial stuff just because. Um, we only have one income coming in most times. Yep. Mine's so, very spotty. So his is spotty, but we don't really use yours, do we? Yeah. No. Every his once is in a while. his. Every once in a while he'll float me alone, but then again, sometimes I float him alone, so it doesn't matter. Um, mm-hmm. And I know everybody's going to be yelling, what about your retirement? We have an account that's set aside for retirement correct that we don't touch that's not it's not that we don't have a retirement fund i hope so because i do not (laughs) want to be supporting this crazy old lady yes we live paycheck to paycheck right now now after we take out our retirement so that when we retire we're okay thank god i was stuck to for a while (laughs) so all right we're gonna wrap this up blame it on uh miss uh mama cat over at Mama Cat's home, I'm I'll put a link to her um, thing. Yep, wrap her. Don't put that around my neck. Well, tighten it both times. Um, blame it on Mama Cat's. We actually found one that puts out Ooh. information that we feel would be pertinent to our channel. So our weakest that, link is we need more crazy cups. Yeah, that's a plastic coconut. We don't need any of those. Anyway, if you don't look for another way. 
don't look for another video until we get back from Wamego and then we'll have some footage from the Fiber Festival. I'm going to try and maybe go live from there, but it would be on Facebook. I've never done YouTube live other than to turn on the webcam outside for the lamps. I I'm kind of scared of that. So, anyway. <laughs> we will see you in a couple of days and hopefully have some great footage for Peace you. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.